in. How is it going? Everyone, welcome to Kid Dracula, uh, the first Castlevania spin-off released in 1994, the Famicom, not for the NES since this never had an English release, except for this collection. This is the first time this game is localized to English. And it's apparently, you know, a very laid-back uh, spin-off that it's basically... You, you should play as uh, the son of Dracula. Well, I don't know if it's the son of Dracula or Dracula as a kid. But, you know... Yeah, it's the same thing at the end of the day. So, you, you can already see by the intro that this is it's not about... Uh, it's not a serious game like the, the Castlevanias try to be. So yeah, apparently the, we, we are in the demon world and there is someone that I forgot the name of that tries to claim being the actual ruler of the demon world instead of a kid Dracula, right? Is that a Mario pipe? Or is that, is that supposed to be a tombstone? A little bit weird for a tombstone to be... Oh, it's a coffin! Okay. Alright, so we just woke up from a coffin. So the gameplay is not like Castlevania. You actually shoot instead of having a whip. I guess this is more comparable to something like Mega Man. Well, except that you cannot shoot... Oh, you can charge? Really? Alright, I see how it is. That's a, an interesting mechanic. We're actually playing Mega Man. I don't believe it. We only seem to have three hits to spare. Which... Maybe a problem, but... And this is Mega Man! <laughs> I, I, I thought it was only gonna have, like, the shooting mechanic, but... <laughs> everything about this game screams Mega Man. Well, Mega Man 4, to be precise, and you have the... The, the charged Mega Buster. Wait, that's healing, or...? Or an extra life? <laughs> Both. Uh, actually, no. An extra life, no, because the life counter is on the... on the right. It's actually healing. But, but it also has a uh, max HP. Oh, is that a Shang-Chi? It is. The, the legendary Chinese zombie. I also the the music very very laid back yeah, the reason why it's a spin-off but you never know hey this will be canon maybe this is uh, Dracula's childhood why couldn't it be canon villains have childhoods too we have a Pendulum, taken straight from Castlevania 3. Uh oh, this is a boss, isn't it? No? no not yet. Oh, I thought he wasn't gonna hit me. Now you're gonna try to hit me? At least you can kill them. Uh oh, these bats are like the Medusa heads. And that platform looks different, is it gonna fall? Yeah. Well, at least it looks different so you can tell it's gonna fall. Nice. We have healing. I wonder how the continue system is gonna work. That's what I'm the most worried about right now. <laughs> okay. This definitely smells like a boss, yeah. Not sure what I'm looking at, though. Wow, <laughs> that was fast. 
Oh, okay, yeah, that was... Okay. That's why it was fast. I cannot... Oh, yeah, I, I, I can actually crouch. I probably should do it. Are you gonna become bigger again? No, that's it. Homing spell? That doesn't look homing to me. Oh. What? Which will it be? Okay, what? Roulette, can can got upon shove and pop. Uh, what am I supposed to aim for? I mean, if I go this way, I will go for shove and pop. Oh, never mind. I guess not. <laughs> Why did they? Oh, never mind. I will. So what is that? Oh, it's a game. Him. At least he's a skeleton, it's not gonna hurt. Need to bring more coins? Well, I guess we're not playing shit then. Alright. Screw you. I think I can change the shot type. Yeah, basically you can change it by pressing select. So is there any reason to not use homing? Assuming it's actually homing, See why I will not use it. Seems way too useful. Oh, we have witches? We gotta be careful because what they throw are not coins. Even though they look like coins. it's moving. I could pick that hard, but... Well, if it's gonna give me one more eight max HP, yeah, it will. But the problem is that now how do I go back up? I think I should corner myself. I just need to do it again. That's fine. But I don't know how permanent... I'm assuming these are not permanent at all. Like, once you game over, th these are pretty much gone. I will assume. Probably not even when you game over. I'm assuming like when you uh, lose a life, even. Uh oh. Where are we going? And that, that's a little bit too fast. Don't you think? Uh oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Team, that was pretty fast. Holy shit. Hey, Blue, how is it going? When we're back here? Well, at least we keep the... the health... Uh, upgrades. I wonder if it's gonna go back on game over. Hopefully not. But I wouldn't see why it wouldn't go out on game over. Because after all... all it, like, I'm already full will count, right? This is the real baby game? I don't know about that, you know that I actually checked the, the Steam achievements? And this game seems to be one of the ones that people beat the least. But maybe that's because, like, they don't want it, right? Like, they don't like it to play, I don't know. It's just a random Japanese game remain. What you mean, random? This isn't random. It's supposed to be Dracula Kun. It's a Castlevania spin-off. Oh, Riskin? Well, no Riskin. Like, <laughs> this is an original game. Oh, wow. It's very easy to get stuck on those. Uh, okay. Need to kill that guy. 
And the NES can barely handle this action. Oh, I got him. Oof. Oh, loop! And that was close. And that was close too. Uh oh. Okay, we made it. Nice. And that was intense. That was very intense. Oh, let's go to the... Oh, to the side they are looking at. Uh, okay. And you know what? I'm looking at the witches and they, their legs are... bigger than their heads, almost. <laughs> like, holy shit. The NES with blast processing. Oh, a chicken? I can't believe a, a chicken is a boss. Why am I fighting a chicken, though? Isn't this supposed to be the demon realm? How is that possible? Guess we're gonna eat some chicken legs now. You got bombs? Well, they don't seem that useful. I think I, I will keep using homing. You didn't even notice? You will have noticed eventually. Yeah. Alright. So, I guess I'm gonna pick this one. Last time I picked the one on the, the second one. So this goes to Can Can. So what is this game? Which color do we hide? What you mean, which color do we hide? The, the color of what? Wait a second. Wait, what is this? Why she? Huh? I don't know, why? Wait, the color of their panties, really? <laughs> Damn, that, that's interesting. Unbelievable. Uh, that was unexpected. I don't even know which which uh, option is which. Interesting. The chip tune box sound. What you mean an absolute mockery? Are you saying that this is not what Castlevania fans want? Uh oh. This is exactly what they want. What do you think? But you know, this is more like a... This is more like a Mega Man fan game, I feel, than... Than Castlevania. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so the physics here work a little bit weird. I'm dead. Oh, okay, you can recover me there. And can you imagine that? Guessing the color of their underwear? That's an interesting game. Reminds you of Alex's Kill? I guess it's... Uh, it, it's similar. But as you say, I think there are a lot of Japanese... Oops. Fuck. I, I wanna get out of here. Okay are like that. A lot of uh, platforming Japanese games have that... Th that feel, you know? Well, you know... So you gotta understand, this is... Th this is a way to prepare you into how dark the two of the next Castlevania games that I'm gonna play are gonna be like I, uh, today I tr I tested Rondo of Blood 
and then even the intro of that game is already dark. I think that everything about that game is dark. The soundtrack, the cutscenes, well obviously the whole aesthetic. But this is the reason why we gotta play something like this, to get ready to feel spooked. They might just kill a regular swimmer, okay. Well then again, I'm Dracula, I'm not supposed to be a hero. Of complete degeneracy? What do you mean? Ah, uh, let's kill this and degenerate, or what I know. Ooh. Wait, an octopus with a bubble? Problem is that the bubble damages you. That's a problem. I'm not sure why the bubble will damage me, but apparently it does. Yeah, and I cannot hit this guy. I mean, it's not really aiming very well. The problem is that he's going off the screen very quickly. Maybe I should not use the, the aiming thing. Well, the, the homing thing. That, that auto MC. I, I might need to switch. Maybe to the normal one, because what's important is... Ah, oh, fuck. So he was gonna go right. Okay. Do we start... Wait, where is this? This might be a problem. Oh. Damn it. No. Okay. But on the right side, I think that after this, the ladder is where the boss is, right? Well, no, a, a couple of ladders more, but but close enough. Oh, damn it! Okay, I'm very used to the to the homing thing that I actually cannot play the game normally. <laughs> like I'm trying to play the game normally and I can because I got so used to the homing. But the problem is that against this boss it doesn't seem very useful. But this boss seems fucked up. That gigantic hitbox is a real problem. Well, I'm... Yeah, I'm dead. Well, what I need to do is to use homing here and then change when the boss comes. I don't know if using the bomb is a good idea. Because for what I've seen, the bomb, the only thing that it does is blowing up, as you would expect from a bomb. But I don't think that's very useful at all, you know? What's useful about a bomb? If there's only one target, right? Hey AC Borussia, how is it going? I'm playing a, a, a Castlevania game, believe it or not. It's a hundred percent a Castlevania game. No doubt. Yeah, do, do, don't worry about it. It's a, as Castlevania as it gets. You love Castlevania? It's nice. It might look a little bit different than what you are used to though, but hey, that's fine. Oh yeah, I've been playing like, like actual Castlevania games these days, and I plan on on keep I plan to keep going until Symphony of the Night. After Symphony of the Night, though, we'll have to to take a break. But yeah, the idea is to have Symphony of the Night being the last one. And so far, I played all of them up until. Uh, bloodlines. We already have quite a lot of them. And this guy is hard to hit. Very hard to hit. I don't even know how much health he has. But differently from the Castlevania games, this game doesn't have a, a boss life meter, so you don't know how close you are. Right? 
Yeah. I think I got him. Got him. You play the 3D ones too. Well, I'm pretty. Oh, I can turn into a bat. Nice. Um, the 3D ones are not really <laughs> like they come after Symphony of the Night, so no. <laughs> That's why I say up until Symphony of the Night. Hey, Fog, how is it going? It looks like a cool game. I mean, it's pretty much Mega Man, but you use Kid Dracula instead. I don't think I have coins for this. Oh, I do. I not stab him even once. I guess I didn't. Did I win a single prize from this? Uh oh. It's a nice level. That's a problem. At least I can turn into a bat. I didn't know you turn back when you shoot though, damn it. I thought you could shoot as a bat, but I guess not. Damn it. My bad, my bad. Well, there go all my lives. So how is the continue system gonna work, I wonder? Oh, it actually works like a normal game, then I can't believe it. We actually have a normal continue system. Unbelievable. I'm bursting with emotion. Well, the, the, the hearts do disappear, as I say, but that's okay. That's not necessary. Yeah, I, I love Mega Man too. Yeah, I definitely won one coin clear it, that's for sure. So I don't know how hard this game is gonna be, but I can imagine it not being very hard at all, you know. Or I don't know, maybe it is. Oh, fuck. Those are spikes. But then again, you know that yesterday I was playing Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge and the game was extremely easy up until one part at the end where you have to fight against uh, Soleil and that was so hard that it took me probably more than an hour and a half just to get past that Hey, at least I beat that game somehow. The final boss was pretty cool, I gotta say. I would even say that so far, the, that the final boss of that game is probably my favorite uh, Dracula fight. You know, the Dracula fight that was pretty, pretty well done. Yeah, I really. I probably will remember it for quite some time. Oh, those spikes are insta-kill? Why didn't you tell me that? Alright, those spikes are an insta-kill, so you gotta be careful. For some reason, the ones on the top are not, but the ones on the bottom are an insta-kill. They are the classic Mega Man spikes, you know? They can get more classic than that. Right, on to a bat. Problem is that I'm not sure how the vertical movement of this works. Cause it's like, it's not like you move. Right, like you see when you press up, he automatically keeps going up. So it's not very easy to control. So here, when you steer, so you kind of have to make an effort to stop. So otherwise you just keep going. Wow, those spikes there are very fucked up. A very nice trap. 
They also been checking because I wanted to test when I eventually play Rondo of Blood. So there are a couple of things that I learned about Rondo of Blood. The first thing is that it's a game that only got released on English for the PSP. And that version later got added into like a PS4 collection. But it's a game that uh, outside of like the, the PSP, it doesn't have an English version. So the original is not really in English. Uh, or rather, the original is in English, but it's inside the PSP game, which is a remake. But the problem is that apparently... It doesn't work very well, emulated at least. I don't know if in an original PSP the, that game will work well. No, it's not fun translated. Uh, basically what some people did... No, no. The thing is, the PSP release is an English translation. It translates the text and it even dubs the characters that normally speak in Japanese. But since the PSP version, which is the one that I'm saying right now, um, doesn't seem to work very well on emulators, instead, what I did is getting uh, the version of the Wii uh, Virtual Console that was patched by someone to include the voices and deaths of the PSP version. So that should work well, at least. Wow, this is the checkpoint, really? <laughs> That's fucked up. But yeah, it's... That, that version basically has everything that the PSP version has in terms of translation, so no. It's not fun translated, though it would be nice if it was fun translated, because... I don't know about all of the voices, but for example, Death in the Japanese version is basically voiced like a very old evil guy, right? But in the English version, he just has the generic deep villain voice. So I don't like that voice, but you know, or at least I don't prefer it. But I guess I will... <laughs> There's not much I can do there. Beggars can be true, sir, so... Uh, I'll, I'll take what I can get, but yeah, it's a shame. Uh... That we cannot hear the Japanese voices unless... Well, technically you can. If you play the remake. The remake actually has... Uh, the Japanese voices with English text, but I don't want to play the remake. I already played it, and it's not bad. In fact, it's very well done. I personally prefer sprites. I think that sprites are... Uh, you know, one of those things that just look a lot better compared to... to 3D models, especially the ones on the PSP. I'm not saying that the PSP is super ugly or anything like that, but I don't like the, the, the normally the graphics of the PSP. At least they are better than PS1, that's for sure, but... Yeah. Like, that 3D feels... Just very... Dull to look at. While sprites, at least to me, are timeless. Even a game like this, that as you can see has obviously... Very primitive graphics. Uh, the, the, the sprites are just something that... That will look good no matter what. Though in this particular case, because of the NES... Wait, did I win? Oh, I won. Alright. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I was gonna say... Um, aside from obviously the NES flickering because it lacks processing power, the sprites are timeless. You know, which is something that 3D models cannot really achieve. Hey Colo, how is it going? This is the most expensive Game Boy game? Well, it's no wonder, because this is not a Game Boy game. And <laughs> no wonder it's expensive, it doesn't exist. 
This is a Famicom game, no, not the Game Boy. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna play the roulette. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm not sure if I understand the way this works, but... Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Guess the number. Wait, why would 20 be a number, even? Oh, maybe it's multiples of that number so if five is if you pick 20 since it's a multiple you you get it so what will be the difference of picking 10 or 15 i don't think i understand the way this mini game works but hey you know what it doesn't matter let's just play it I almost guessed the number. Yeah. Oh, there is a Game Boy version, really? Damn, I wasn't expecting a spin-off to get a Game Boy version of all things. Interesting. Wait a second. Did I just get 20 lives? It says that I have 20 lives. So I won the Shackpot on that minigame? Damn. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's interesting. I won the Shackpot and I didn't even know. I have 20 lives. It says it down there. P20. Damn. Alright. Well, that's something. Did I use the Konami code? No, I just won the roulette. Can you believe it? And, and I don't even under- I, like, I still don't understand how that game works, but hey, I won, which is what matters. And if you can win 20 lives, one coin clearing this game should be a show. You know? <laughs> you can just get 20 lives out of nowhere. Well, it's a shame that I already cannot do that because I fucked up. Like, I already hit game over once, so... I'm afraid that's not possible. Oh wait, we're going down? I that we're going down. How down, though? Wait, my transformation is gonna run out. Oh, you were just supposed to drop. Oh, we're on a train? Wait, what does the ice do? Oh, I need to move. Fuck. Okay. So when that when the horn sounds you need to crouch. Wait, you also get hurt by the Oh no never mind. No sorry. I was just charging. Oh, yeah. It, you know that this game Polo is very similar to to Mega Man gameplay wise. Damn I got killed off screen, that's fucked up. You can also teabag, which is something that that you cannot do in Mega Man. So I will say that is an absolute victory. That might be the reason it's one of the most expensive. <laughs> you think so? It could be. Hey, I guess that, that shackpot is gonna be very useful right now. It really will. I mean, you can even charge the Mega Buster. Playthrough stage 1 seems like a fun game. The move speed is slow, though. Yeah, it's, I mean, the move speed is basically like it usually is in, in NES games, you know. I, in fact, it's it's relatively similar to how it is in Mega Man. So I guess it's all a matter of perspective, because in Mega Man, the way the stages are made, it makes you look like the move speed is a lot higher. Yeah, but in this game, it seems like the way the stages are made, it's not like it gives you 
a very big sensation of speed. Team, there are a lot of enemies later on, holy shit. Alright. At least a maximum on... on resources. That's the part that matters. Oh yeah. The, the, the horn sounds pretty funny, I gotta say. Doesn't sound bad, but it's just a funny sound. Mega Man, the screen is quite large compared to Mega Man's Pride. Yeah. Well, yeah, except for Seven. Seven is a game that is very particular. I wouldn't call Seven hot trash, but. You know. It's a game that... The, the, the final boss is a problem. <laughs> the final boss... Well, the final sequence in general is a problem. But hey, that's fine. Eventually... With enough practice and healing items, you can do it. Well, you can also do it without healing items. But you need a little bit more practice for that. Uh, crouch. And they really gang up on you here. Did I make it? Yeah. I made it! Alright. What are we gonna fight here in the city? Are we gonna fight Godzilla? Wow, the Statue of Liberty! Lady Liberty. Wait, so we are in New York? A quiz show? Oh no. I don't know much how the USA miss. I hit the buzzer though. Which country am I living? Well, come on. Ape City? Uh, Ape City? Doesn't seem like the wrong answer either. I'm just kidding. New York is a beautiful city. Where are you originally from? That's a good question. The United Kingdom? Well, maybe it was the UK. Well, that's fine. Uh, I didn't know it was a gift from France. How do you say thank you in Japanese? <laughs> I'm assuming this question in the... Oh, wait. This guy didn't let me pick. Fuck. He picked the button uh, before me. He come to Brazil. Which island is farthest south? I have no clue, dude. I don't even know what Wam is. Damn, that, that previous question, if the other asshole didn't touch the button faster than me. A chico. Alright, <laughs> I got it. I don't remember who Hachiko is, but hey, at least I got it right. Is there? No. It has to be the sixth one. So you can basically press the button before she stops uh, reading all the questions. Him. Yeah. That was an interesting boss fight. Up, up, down, down. Oh. And we literally reverse gravity, that's pretty interesting. 
All right. Damn. Well, what a boss fight. Can you believe that? What an absolute boss fight. Game's always asking this in quizzes. Well, the, the thing is that... Like, I felt like there were a lot of questions, so I picked the highest one. But yeah, I, I, if, it, if, they, if they were highest uh, numbers, I would have missed. Wait, what is this? Got a pawn, it says. Alright. Uh, I'm supposed to get a yellow? Alright. But how do... How does it spin? Oh, you need to let it... Rest. And this is rigged. Okay, at least we got one. But then the, the game showers you in lives. Just that if if I had played these games before, I would have gotten the lives a lot earlier. Damn, pretty pretty interesting. I guess this game is for babies after all, because I really cannot cannot see how you can lose. Like the, the game showers you. No, I can see how you can lose. Since I already did it, but I mean that once you know how the mini games work. Well, the, the the thing is also getting lucky that you get either the roulette or the garapon, because I think the other two are not very easy to win coins in. Like the one where the the can can doesn't seem very very easy at all to get coins from. And the other one, watch, what was it? I forgot. Which one was the other game? Fuck, I forgot. Damn it. I completely forgot. It's alright, don't, don't worry about it. Oh yeah, the one where you need to stab the skeleton. Well, that one also seems hard to, to win. Well, even if you win it, I don't know if you even get anything out of it. Or like anything worth it. So it seems that if you're lucky enough to get the... Oh, I need to reverse gravity. You know what I was gonna say in that quiz? Like that... That question that says how do you say thank you in Japanese? It's probably in the original game the same, but asking how you say thank you in English. Very, very interesting. Need, need to wait for the count to, to go down. And that skeleton got fucked. Absolutely fucked. Uh oh. Wait, can I pick this up? Oh, I can. Nice. Would have been weird to translate the question. Yeah, how do you say thank you in English? So it's pretty funny because some questions are stupidly easy. But they are stupidly easy because you live here. Well, you live here. I mean that <laughs> you are not from Japan, right? But the question that, for example, ask about Hachiko, that I don't know what the fuck it is. Uh, I, isn't Hachiko the statue of the dog? Or maybe not. And basically that question, if you're Japanese, will probably be expected to be an easy one. To say that it's from Shibuya. Like, how am I supposed to dodge that? That's very fast. How do you say driving reverse? Uh... Well, it depends. You can say... Uh, no, conduza no, it will be conducir. Uh, in, en reversa, no. Conduzca is no. Well, 
Th that will be the, the imperative version. Conduzca is the imperative conjugation of the verb. Uh, if you want to use like the infinitive version, it will be conducir. But yeah, if you want to, to be imperative, then it will be that one. Hey Yami, how is it going? Yeah. You always mix them up. Of course. Also, it seems that it's better to just use the bat in this situation. It's a lot faster than the damn gravity switch. So at the same time, I need to kill that guy before I, I go through that. I'm saying to tell someone to do it. Yeah, if you want to tell uh, someone to do it, it also depends on where you are and what level of formality you want. But yeah, conduzca will be the, the formal way of saying it. You can also use a more imperative version, which will be conduce. Like that way you are telling them to do it, right? And if you are Argentinian, you will say conduci which is not a right pronunciation in regular Spanish, but, but it is right if you are from here. <laughs> yeah, th th those are the different ways to, to be imperative, essentially. But yeah, conduzca will be the, 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 the most formal one. If you want to be formal, that's the one you want to you do you want to use. Whoop. This skeleton is an asshole. You usually use boss. Well if you use boss, it should be conduci. But yeah, you should never use that unless you are you are interested in Argentina. Because nobody else is gonna understand you. I'm dead, by the way. I, I reacted a little bit too late, unfortunately. I, I wasn't aware of what was happening until it was too late. Most people seem to understand it. Well, I mean, I'm pretty... Understand, I guess they will. But the problem is that they will probably look... Uh, look you... They, they will give you weird looks. Or they will ask you if you are Argentinian. No, no, that, that's not the way it works, blue. It, 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 the infinitive is just conducir them, I fucked up. Wait, how do I... How did I kill that guy last time? Conducimos is the... The present version of the... Of first person in plural, so like the we version. Maybe this game is like Rayman 1, which gives you ton of life because it's too hard. Uh, it will be... I, I doubt it, but y you might be onto something. And that's still very close. ask you if you are from Argentina. Well, because it's as I say, nobody uses conduci. That's an Argentinian or, well, also Uruguayan thing. Nobody else uses that. 
punctuation. No, conducamos doesn't exist. You will have to have a a, a seed before the the seed. Conduzco does exist. Uh oh, where, where are we? Oh shit! Damn. We are fighting against the pharaoh. But which pharaoh is this? Maybe it's the one that everyone know. Uh, to tank coming. He's not really attacking though. He's just spinning his arms like an idiot. Unless I'm not supposed to attack him. What the hell? You didn't even fight back! What a shover! Damn. Hey, conducimos will be the present version, but conduzcamos is the imperative version of we. So he was always, eh, always, almost there. Oh, then we're gonna be playing Can Can again. This game is fucked up. You have to you have to guess the underwear of these girls. They're very family friendly game. Um Why did you hit him? It wouldn't put me down. What 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 did you want? I'm just gonna always pick yellow since it gives you seven lives, I guess. It's a good idea for a kid game, I agree. Do they use manejar? Yes, we use the word manejar. Indeed. We, we use Alright, whatever. That was... Uh, yeah, as I say, the Can Can minigame is very bad if you want to earn... If you want to earn extra lives. The best games are the roulette. And uh, what was the other one? <laughs> and uh, the the one that sounds like a Japan, but it was named some something slightly different. Okay, you need to be quick here. Is there a difference between conducir and manejar? Uh, no. Like, if the context is driving, no. The difference is that... The difference between the two verbs is that usually conducir gets used almost exclusively for driving, while manejar is used for uh, a lot of different things. Conducir. You, you can also use conducir for other things that are not driving a vehicle, but, but yeah, not not that common. Uh, playa de estacionamiento. Yeah, uh, you will should say estacionamiento. The, the playa thing you don't say it. You don't say that word to refer to to that. You just drop it all together. Wait, something that I just realized. I could be using the bat here. Instead of needing to jump, I can just turn into a bat. It's like a more useful idea than fighting these robots. Even though this is a fit uh, screen. Oh, but the problem is, if you do that, you cannot hit a platform from below, that's a problem. No, no, you don't use anything that, like, you just use estacionamiento, you don't use anything else. <laughs> you don't put any other word, you just say that. You can also say garage. G garage is like if you want to differentiate between a. Uh, so 
something that is intended. Oh, you mean the side, the side, okay, the, the side of the street. Uh, I don't know, you could say cordon de la vereda, I guess. I don't know. Ah, uh, come on, how did that one not work? That was horseshit. I guess I do have to turn into a bat here. Because if I don't... Okay, I'm gonna turn into a bat here. The problem is that if, the <laughs> if a platform comes from above, there isn't anything... You can do... Okay. Oh, and now we have missiles from from below. Well, that's pretty nice of you. P pretty cool game. Okay, at least we made it. Wait, what? I didn't mean to skip. Well, I think we reached the final boss. I think that we already reached the the end of the game, huh? Is that how it's gonna be? The problem is that you have to attack him as soon as he attacks. Well, you can actually attack him above the, his head. Yeah, you can actually hit him, it's just that it's very precise to hit him in the head. He has that sword out. Maybe I need to use the homing attack instead. You let me switch, okay. It should work. Yeah, okay, that works. Damn, it feels like there is not any reason to not use the damn homing attack, dude. The NES CPU on fire, yeah. Ah, but don't worry about it. It deals less damage. Well, yeah, but I mean... It's better to deal damage than to do don't deal any damage. Because the regular projectile barely even works. So I'd rather deal little damage than dealing no damage. So this guy has a lot of health. He will be back. <laughs> and then he just says, okay, see ya. Damn. Wait, didn't we win? That's suppo Isn't that supposed to be the main villain of the game? Why do you give me a minigame? Didn't we just beat the game? Maybe not. Oh, we're going to Garapon. The sidewalk is called Vereda. Uh, fog. That's how you say sidewalk. Also, that reminds me that I lost a lot of lives in that uh, elevator section. This is why you need 300% energy recharge you think so that's a lot though I only got one extra life I guess it wasn't that easy as I thought uh, yeah you can use uh, cruce peatonal but yeah I mean Via peatonal is not wrong, it's just that everyone here uses the word vereda. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those multiple things that is not wrong. 
just that it's not natural, you know? I mean, technically, anything that it's right Spanish is gonna be right, but Argentinian is not right Spanish, you know? <laughs> Argentinian is like Chilean, it's basically an aberration of the language that only exists because, you know... <laughs> because it exists, but yeah. sounds like con conduct uh, you use conducir for for trains yes uh, for orchestra you use the word dirigir uh, dirigir means uh, if you want to translate dirigir it will be something like I guess you could say it's something like drive, but not, not particularly. I don't know what would be the, the right word to translate that into. But yeah, dirigir is like guiding something, you know? Like, it means like to guide something. Or conduct, yeah. Yeah, the dirigir is also direct, like if you direct a movie, well actually, yeah, you, you say that, yeah, you, you will say that if you are the director of a movie, you will use that word. Oh yeah, I, I guess the dirigir will also be uh, direct. It all depends on the context more than the meaning, I guess. Also, yeah, I agree, Borsha, the music is very cool. As you know, the thing about this game is that obviously it's supposed to be very laid back. So... Hey, you know that... The music is not gonna be like gothic like it is in Castlevania. It's gonna be very upbeat. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Cox. And these guys are very tanky. Guess I didn't notice because I was using the 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 aim thing. Conductor and director are two completely different things. <laughs> one is director and the other one is driver. But yeah, they, they, they are not really the same thing. Yeah, that place really fucks you up. Problem is that I don't think I'm gonna get healing anytime soon since I choose kinda shoes go to, you know? What is this guy doing? Huh? Why are you not attacking? Oh, well, now you're attacking, huh? I don't know why he wasn't attacking. I might be dead. Oh, I'm not. Oh, alright! <laughs> Damn, that was pretty nice of you, game. <laughs> Damn. Very cool. I must admit that was very, very cool. Oh, conductor is in English. Okay, yeah, surprise. And that was a an insta give in the level of I wanna be the guy, dude. Because <laughs> it doesn't give you time to react. I mean, you, you can hear the sound, but associating that sound to to that laser is a different story. That's fucked up. 
Can you believe that? That's absolutely unbelievable. Because I think you're supposed to go to the left, right? I think. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but... Yeah, there's nothing on the... On the right. But at least now I know. I wonder if this is an insta-kill, though, because... When I got killed by this, I think I had no life left. I want that heart. Give it to me. So I'm not sure what's the idea of up down. When you can just use the bat. I guess it's in case you... You don't want to lose your transformation for hitting a wall or something, but... Seems a little bit useless. Oh. Here comes a robot. Wait, what? How do I hit this guy? I'm assuming I need to headshot him. Oh, maybe I need. To okay, using the up down here will actually work. But I mean, if I can do this, I'd rather do this. You know. Seems like a better idea. You know how hard it's to program reverse gravity? Well, that depends on what you use, I guess. You know? She equals minus one. Yeah. I guess it all depends on what engine you are using. I guess most regular engines it will be well, regular most modern engines will be hard to do that I don't know I never tried so I cannot really tell you I know that it's probably a lot faster if I use up down to do this but wait he started attacking aiming at me or did he always aim I think that's the first time he, he aims that close. No, I think he always aim at me. That's interesting. Oh, I fucked up. Damn, I still dodge him. Even when I fuck up, he still cannot hit me. But yeah, if I do upside down, I don't know if it's gonna be that easy to dodge this guy's bullshit, you know? That, that's what I'm afraid of. And especially now that I already hit him so many times. Yeah, there it is. Get T-Bug, bitch. What do you have to say about that? I wonder if level 9 is gonna be the last one. Because I don't know if you can have double digits in the, in the stage counter. I hope that it is not the last one. And we're going back to Can Can Man. Fuck this mini game. I I I haven't won this mini game once. The problem is that it says if you feel lucky, it's not like you can refuse, you know. <laughs> Damn, I actually got it. That's the first time I, I win this fucking game. Alright. Got him. I don't know if it's a skill issue. I just won. Uh oh. What the hell? They're already fighting a boss? But this might be the final stage after all. I like the, the fire effect. How am I supposed to hit this guy? I call my bullets are failing. Hmm. Maybe when he's going up. 
No? Okay, maybe I need to hit him with ice. Since he's flaming and all that. Yeah, okay, ice seems to work. Problem is that I should have done it from the beginning. Alright. We need to cool this guy down. So what you mean by not Dev intended win? Dev intends absolutely everything. Even the bugs. Bugs are just features. You know? So it's very hard to jump over this guy. Without getting hit, I mean. And even harder to actually hit him. It's a little bit of an issue. Damn, you, you're becoming a little bit too fast, Mr. Whatever you are. So is this gonna be some sort of boss rush? If I'm already greeted by this guy, I can assume that there's gonna be more down the line. This guy takes a long time to go down, that's for sure. I like this song. The song is pretty, pretty cool. I wonder how many hits he takes to go down. Probably a lot. Ah, I missed. Okay, I got him. But what comes now? Mm, I'm scared. So, what I'm more scared of is the fact that... It might have the checkpoint after this fight. That's the most scary thing. Wait a second. I'm gonna die. And I come a hundred percent dead. But wait, I cannot use the bat there. If I use the bat, those guys are gonna kill me. But wait, what are you supposed to do? And yeah, I need to fight this guy again. Damn, I fucked up. It's a Pokemon. But it kind of looks like uh, one of like the like Viserion, like the, one of the legendaries from the from the fifth generation. Well, not really. <laughs> uh, you will have to have some imagination to yeah, Viserion. I don't remember his name. The the, the green guy. Hey Kyle, how is it going? So what do I do here? Because the upside down is completely useless because it's not enough to go the other way. Because I'm pretty sure that the more you run, or maybe it is enough. Well, I guess I could try it, but I mean it's the only thing I can try. These things have a lot of health. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, okay, that works. It, it does work. I don't like the spikes being on top of me here. Yeah, I expected that was gonna happen. Wait, these are Mega Man enemies. Just like more grown up, but... These are the little guys that have a helmet in Mega Man. But this is them now. After they have grown. Uh oh. After they have grown now. Oh! Fuck. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I think I might be there. Ah, uh, that was already the top. Well, okay, at least I know what to do. This game will be impossible for a kid? Do you think so? I don't know. I mean, I don't think Mega Man is impossible for a kid. You know? 
Uh, and this game seems pretty similar to Mega Man even in difficulty, so... I, I don't know if I would call it impossible. They didn't give a fuck, yeah, it seems like they didn't. It just keeps spawning. They will lose all their lives pretty fast. Yeah, but I mean... Well, I don't know what will be the checkpoint if you lose all your lives here, I'm assu I mean, for now it will be the exact same... Wow, you don't have iframes when you get hit by those assholes. That's fucked up. Yeah. I'm surprised though that this level... Like, welcomes you with this boss. Like, this boss feels incredibly out of place. No, it doesn't restart the whole game. No, no. No, if it restarted the whole game, we will be in trouble. Like, I will actually be nervous right now. No, no, if you lose all your life, you should start from the beginning of the level. Well, I don't know if the beginning of the level or the previous checkpoint, but I'm assuming it's the beginning of the level. Because the one time I game over, I think I game over at the beginning of a level, so I didn't realize if it would have restarted me there or not. But yeah, don't worry about it. Uh oh. Nice. Damn, that was close though. I'm not sure what shot I should even use for this guy. The homing one doesn't seem to be useful, but... I think I just... I mean, I guess I will use the homing one. It seems like the best way to deal with these guys is by... By just spamming the normal shot, but if you can have a, a charged shot, you want the homing one. And also another thing worth noting is that... When you shoot a charge shot in the air, you don't have an animation for it. But at the same time, it seems that if you shoot it in the air, it doesn't hit anyone. That seems like a problem. Alright. So here we have Mr. Robot. What, what are you up to? More importantly, how do I hit you? Uh -oh. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. I probably should use the regular shot here. It will probably deal more damage. Okay, he stops where you are, essentially. So this guy is a shover. I thought by the way he looked at the beginning that he was gonna be a giant robot or something like this, but it's just a, a head. A spinning head with a drill as a neck. A little bit weird, I gotta say. But I guess it is the way it is. Seems like he's an absolute tank, too. Well, maybe he has a weakness, Mega Man style, but I wouldn't know. Wait, that hit me? Wait, why did that one hit me and not the other ones? What the hell? That was horror shit. Hey, what, are you getting faster for some reason? I don't know. Because it's not like I stop. But how much health do you have, mister? Seems like you have a, a lot of health. Okay, there you go. Well, it kinda looked like he was gonna be a giant robot. But I guess he, he won't. guy again. Uh oh. Wait, how 
How do I hit you? Uh oh. Am I gonna hit by his wing? Wait, where do you start from? Oh, you have to be shitting me. Are you for real? Every attempt will have to be the whole level? Well, I guess this is a Castlevania spin-off. It wouldn't be a Castlevania game if it didn't have a stupid-ass uh, checkpoint system in the final level, you know? <laughs> I, it wouldn't be. Damn, that's fucked up. Are you for real? The whole thing... Just to try the, 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 the boss again? That's so stupid. But again, it's a Castlevania spin-off. It, it couldn't be any other way. The problem is that if you get hit at the beginning, it seems like you will be better off just restarting, because it's not like you're gonna get healed. There is no healing item, unless it's hidden somewhere. Then that's fucked up, dude. Quite messed up. And I don't even know how to how to damage the final boss because my bullets weren't doing anything. Unless I'm supposed to use ice like against this guy. But ice doesn't really have too much range. And he was all the way up, so it's not like there's much I can do. The problem is that this guy has a completely random spawn, so sometimes he spawns right next to you and it's very hard to to even move. Oh come on. Oh, this is gonna be such a salt. But I mean, as I said, it was to be expected. It's a Castlevania game. It had to have a stupid ass uh, final level. So that's pretty weird because the very first Castlevania game had like the, the very first one had a checkpoint on the final boss. I don't know why the other Castlevania games stopped doing that. It feels like the most natural thing to do. So I'm dead. Yeah, that's a problem. You also have to plan that section in a way that you don't have to kill every single enemy, because otherwise you just cannot make it before the anti-gravity, or well, rather the reverse gravity runs out. I got... Wait, I didn't get hit actually. I thought I did. Well, actually, not just the first Castlevania game, but the Castlevania 2 as well. Of all the bad things that Castlevania 2 has, at least you can retry the final boss almost immediately. I say almost because you still need to walk on the empty castle. Hey, okay, at least the castle is empty. Wait, maybe something that I should do, just to make sure. I didn't even kill that guy. I probably should like, kill a couple of these and then go for it. Seems like you can only kill one of them. I guess here I'm just gonna use normal. It really doesn't seem like like aim is gonna do anything, though maybe bomb could help. I'm not sure. But well, actually it is a Cheyenne roll. <laughs> I wasn't making shit up, it actually is a Cheyenne roll. And for some reason only attacks with his head. Well no, I mean for some reason, yeah I know the reason. The reason is that this is an NES game. Or, well, a Famicom game, if you want to be precise. Now, you wouldn't be able to have a Cheyenne boss fight in the game. 
I want to try Bomb to see if it deals more damage. Probably not, but... Not like I can try many other things. I mean, it seems like Bomb has active damage after the explosion, but... I don't know if that damage is worth it at all. I mean, I don't know what else I could use against this guy. Because the other things that I have are the bat that will obviously don't do anything. I have the... Well, I don't think the ice is gonna deal more damage against the robot. The aim one will not do do more. But yeah, I think that it will either be the bomb or the normal. Okay, the bomb is definitely more effective. But the problem is that I don't know what to use against the against the final boss. Well, I'm assuming this is the final boss. I'm not sure. But at least you can aim it upwards. That's what matters. You might need to hit him when he opens his mouth, I think. Yeah, it might be the case. Problem is dodging his shit. Though your hitbox is not the entirety of your sprite, I guess, so... It's a matter of moving slightly to the side and you should be fine. So with the overlap of, of sound effects, I'm not even sure if I'm dealing damage. I gotta assume I am, but I'm not sure. Oh, I am. Nice. You gonna have a second phase? No. Rumors that the Kid Dracula defeated Garamoth spread across the demon world. Many demons started to join him and serve in his evil army. And so, once again, Dracula became the Dark Lord. So this is supposed to be Dracula. I thought it was Dracula's son. It's actually Dracula. I got the achievement there. Nice! Hey, I wouldn't mind being the king if I have that hot witch to my side. Anyways, um... Damn, that was Kid Dracula. It was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, but it makes sense. It's supposed to be a game for kids, you know? Uh, the, the, the interesting thing is that if you get lucky with the minigames, one coin clearing this game is extremely easy. Uh, well, compared to obviously the actual Castlevania games, but... I think it was a cool experience, you know? It, it was something that... Um, that... It's worth playing at least once. The yeah, Mar is multiplying. But yeah, it, it, it was definitely something that... <laughs> I wouldn't say that it has much to do with Castlevania, aside from the fact that Konami says that it's a Castlevania spin-off. But yeah... Hey... Oh, wait a second. But be careful, a man with a whip may come to fight you. Oh shit! So this is the prequel to Castlevania. See, there you have it. You wanted the Castlevania connection? There it is. So this is actually the prequel to the whole Castlevania series, you know? The, the way that, that Dracula became a king. See? Just like that. And also just like that, I think this is one of those games that... that basically doesn't have anything after the end screen. Well, that makes it easier for me, though. Uh, so that's pretty cool, uh, but yeah.
It was a cool game. Like, definitely recommend that if you choose want to play a game casually. Because definitely the, the Castlevania games are not very uh, are not a very good fit for that for the most part. But hey, uh, yeah, that was um, Kid uh, Dracula.